only about 10% of how long the average person lives is dictated by our genes. The other 90% is dictated by our lifestyle. We're leaving about 12 good years on the table. None of them exercise, at least the way we think of exercise. Instead, they set up their lives so that they're constantly nudged into physical activity. Uh, the Sardinians live in vertical houses, up and down the stairs. They don't have any conveniences. There's not a button to push to do yard work or housework. If they want to mix up a cake, they're doing it by hand. Here we have this area where men live the longest. For people not only reach age 100, they do so with extraordinary vigor. Places where 102 year olds still ride their bike to work, chop wood, and can beat a guy 60 years younger than them. They have vocabulary for sense of purpose. Instead, there's one word that imbues your entire life, and that word is ikigai. And roughly translated, it means the reason for which you wake up in the morning. For this 100-year-old fisherman, it was continuing to catch fish for his family three times a week. For this 102-year-old woman, her ikigai uh, was simply her great, great, great granddaughter. And I asked her what it felt like uh, to hold a great, great, great granddaughter. And she put her head back and she said, it feels like leaping into heaven. Each of these cultures take time to downshift. The Sardinians pray, the Seventh-day Adventists pray, the Okinawans have this ancestor veneration. When you're in a hurry or stressed out, that triggers something called the inflammatory response, which is associated with everything from Alzheimer's disease to cardiovascular disease. The greatest sort of diet suggestion ever invented is known as the Hara Hachi Bu diet. It's simply a little saying these people say before their meal to remind them to stop eating when their stomach is 80% full. They have all kinds of little strategies to keep from overeating. They eat off of smaller plates. They tend to eat fewer calories at every city. A plant-based diet full of vegetables with lots of color in them and they eat about eight times as much tofu as Americans do. Doesn't mean they don't eat meat, but lots of beans and nuts. Then the foundation of all this is how they connect. They put their families first, take care of their children and their aging parents. And then hardwired right in the religion are nature walks. They also belong to the right tribe. They were either born into or they proactively surrounded themselves with the right people. Uh, they all tend to belong to a faith-based community. The Seventh-day Adventists celebrate their uh, Sabbath from sunset on Friday till sunset on Saturday, uh, tw a 24-hour sanctuary in time, they call it. These people drink a little bit every day, not a hard sell to the American population. When it comes to longevity, there is no short-term fix in a pill or anything else. But when you think about, about it, your friends are long-term adventures, and therefore, perhaps the most significant thing you can do to add more years to your life and life to your years.